everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivor and Spice, back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also share to your friends, especially your exes, just to piss them off. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Istanbul 2, Manchester United 1. Horrible performance. Lackluster performance guys, the most dreadful performance I've seen in a very long time, especially the first 45 minutes, to be open like that, to be loose, to be loose, to be open up loose like a hot knife from butter, disgrace, it's disgraceful guys, that performance, it wasn't it, and and, and if you're only in, you need to defend yourself properly, I'm asking you questions, why are you only in? The, the, the setup was, was horrible. It was the worst setup in a long time. Harry Maguire, terrible, terrible, terrible defender. Why is he captain? Just why is he captain if you can't lead a team? No, not even that. He couldn't lead a pack of ants to a picnic. He's the worst leader of them all. I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. Just to see, just to, just to watch us. I, I, oh, I, I was watching the match halfway in at work. They don't deserve this. They don't deserve me breaking rules for them. Manchester United did not deserve me breaking rules watching a match at work. Briefly, 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 not the whole first 45 minutes, briefly watching a match while I was working, you know, you know, and I could have made mistakes all for Manchester United. They don't deserve this. They don't deserve this. You fans don't deserve this as well. Horrible, horrible. Oli, Tactically naive, clueless. And I'm not here to slaughter him all the time and slender him, you know. He, he's absolutely clueless, guys. Let's go straight into the match because the first first couple of minutes, straight away, Demba Bar was through. Went through easily from a corner. And to start to make it 1-0, you were thinking, where is the defence? Where is the organisation? Where is the defensive organisation in, in this? How can we be beaten easily? Straight away, Demba Ba, 35 years old. He probably, yes, he probably slow. But he's had all the time in the world to charge at Henderson and slot it in to make it 1-0. And guys, then they made it 2-0. At 2-0, you was thinking, what is going on? What is going on with my beloved team? Why is, why is this happening? We don't deserve this. And then we made it 2-1, guys. But you could tell, the players weren't up for it. They weren't in it. Their heart wasn't in it. Martial made it 2-1. But at the same time, that goal, you can see that, oh, even when he made it 2-1, the whole, the whole team itself wasn't in it. The players themselves, their heart wasn't in it. And then again, 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 second off, I was so confused. I, you guys were confused as soon as he took off um, to Santa Bay and brought on McTominay. You asked yourself, Oli, what, what is this? What are you doing? Do you know what you're doing, Oli? Can you make sense of yourself, Oli? Why are you bringing on to Santa Bay for McTominay when we're 2-1 down? We are losing. We are losing. We don't need to have a team one less of a centre-back to play Matic as a centre-back. Matic, the reason why we conceded the first one, because he wasn't quick enough. But yet, you're exposing us. You're leaving us exposed against Istanbul. I was about to say Bersic guys or whatever. We lost to a team that I cannot pronounce their whole entire name. We lost to a team that we, we struggled to even pronounce the second name of that team. That Bersic guys or Bela Bersic or Basesquia. It frustrates me. We can't pronounce the team, but we, we cannot pronounce the name of the team, but we lost. We lost. And guys, again, only gonna freestyle. That second half was only gonna freestyle. The team doesn't have a construction of play, style of play. What do we do in training? And like my boy Saeed says, Oli, you definitely are playing Candy Crush on that iPad. You are definitely playing Candy Crush on that iPad because it's not a tactical thing. You're not watching the game. You're not watching the game. We can see the first goal. Matt Finan comes out, points at the players. Where are you? Where are you in the whole situation when we're losing? Playing Candy Crush, useless. And I, I, guys, I don't want to be here slandering Oli. I want to be proven wrong. I truly want to be proven wrong by Oli. I want Oli to be the best manager he can be and be successful at Manchester United. 
but he's making it hard for me to believe in him. And I got a new Audi in, guys. I don't know what's wrong. I don't want to know what's wrong. I don't know what you're smoking. I don't know what you're eating, but I just don't know what's wrong. 100 games in, and I can clearly see. I saw that he wasn't the right man 20 games in. 20 games in, I saw it. 100 games in, no, no consistency in terms of the player performances. Um, no starting, consistent in terms of the starting lineup. Um, no tactics in terms of philosophy, style of play. None of that exists. But yet, we should have faith and trust in the process. What process? There is no process, guys. And it's a wake-up call. This defeat is a wake-up call. Two defeats back to back. Back to back. Back to back. But Manchester United fans, just, just, just be real. Like, it is hard as a Manchester United fan just to be seeing this week by week. Changes are needed. And Putch, please do come in. We need you right now, Putch. We definitely need Putch right now. And if you, any of you guys will tell me, oh no, what credentials does he have? What credentials does Oli Gunnar Solskjaer have? He doesn't deserve to be the manager of Manchester United. He has no, he has zero credentials. And yet, you should trust in him and back him. A manager that was very good as a substitute, a super sub, at analysing analyzing a game from the bench. But as a manager, analysing the game from the bench has eluded you. What happened, bro? What happened to you? Guys, man of the match. Of course, Istanbul. Istanbul was man of the match. They were the better team. None of our players deserve man of the match. Don't give the match. Definitely Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Tactically naive. He's scared. Came again. Another game where he came out to manage Manchester United with a condom on. And it's not Durex. It's not. It's not Magnum. It's probably a cheap pass condom from Lidl. Definitely. Because boy, he ain't out here to shoot sperms against Besiktas' goal. He's not down for that. He's definitely not down to that. And Manchester United fans, guys, just try your best. Just keep it humble. Keep going. You know. Eventually, you never know. He will lose his job. He will. It's coming. The second is pending, guys. The second is pending. And I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated and I'm hurt. But yeah, I'm not going to let him get to me. I'm not going to let them get to me. Manchester United have ruined the day. They have ruined our day. They'll probably ruin all of your guys' days as well. But guys, as always, just catch me on the, on the next show. Catch me on the next show, guys. I'm tired. I am tired, guys. I, it's, it's late. We've just done another show. Remember to watch Catch Up Volume 16. Soon to be out. Most likely Friday, if not Saturday. Remember, guys, just watch that. Keep an eye on that. And guys, thank you for watching. It's been lovely. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. Remember to follow the socials, as always. It's above there. Um, remember, remember to follow the official Instagram account, which is TV one Also, remember to share, subscribe. And again, share, subscribe, like, press, smash that like button. Share it to your ex. Share it to your ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, just to piss them off, you know. Share it to your granddad, your grandma, anyone that you can think of. And remember, guys, remember to keep it united and keep it red united. I'm out. Peace out.